Hello you all, how are you? I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel. I am playing Teranoden, I am drinking at a shallow spot, kinda. It is not shallow, but it is not a hot spot, so I deem it safe to... I think it is a safe spot to drink. Uh, everyone is just below this waterfall. This is Spiky River, and I'm going at Bumpy Confluences. It's Bumpy, Conflu Bumpy Confluence, it is north of center, it is just where Spiky River and uh, Pocket River that comes from south, from Pocket Pool, gets together. Now, I'm starting to get hungry, so as a Pteranodon, a good thing you can do is fish, nothing else. You just get close to those bubbles and you press the left mouse button in order to uh, pack some fish. Okay. And best spots to drink not hot spots or shallows even better and you can eat everywhere Pteranodon is a very chill gameplay you just need to find some ripples in the water and then pack them with the left mouse button if you want uh, to quickly catch them sometimes you need a couple of rounds though or the right mouse button and you keep pressed the right mouse button it's a skimming the water kinda so if you wanna skim the water you can uh, fish as well with that, you will not be able to drink, but at least you will be able to uh, have that cool animation. I mean, uh, how cool is that animation? Now, this is uh, not a that, that such a good place to do this because um, it's a hot spot. So if I mistake, if I do one uh, misclick, I end up in water and I am Denosuku's food. So don't do it, don't do it that much at least. Look, or if you choose to skim the water for fishing, do it uh, at your own risk, but uh, preferably not at a hot spot. As soon as, it, as soon as you have that message, you have got a fish, you release the right mouse button and uh, voila, you have that fish of yours that you can gulp later on. Pteranodon, uh, I am repeating myself, but it is true, it is a chill gameplay. It's very chilling, you relax a lot, mm, you require a few skills in the beginning, very basic skills, I mean, I have learned, you can learn as well, very easy. Now, and uh, once you have done all that, and you grow, and you grow bored of playing it, you can always pack at uh, juveniles, or even adult uh, dinos. Now, this is a good spot for that one, I'm not gonna risk pack at that uh, dinosuchus over there, it's too risky, I can pack at this one though. Uh, it's gonna be risky and very likely I will die. Now, you need to keep a certain distance when packing. Uh, if you are too low, uh, you get you risk to uh, actually get uh, uh, beaten and die because you have no life. Uh, well, you have no HP, sorry for uh, the confusion. You have no HP. Your HP must be around 100, uh, 100 HP, 100 hit points, which is nothing. Uh, even a Uteraptor or a Tenontosaurus bite can kill you. So, your HP, nothing, your weight is 90 kilograms, so even a small Denosuchus can lunge and drown you. And if you get uh, pounced by a small Uteraptor, because small Uteraptors can still pounce you without killing you, you just have to press E, the E button, in order to buck that little pest off your back as a... Uh, as uh, a, a Pteranodon. Now, this is uh, very likely uh, a bait. Now, you have to be careful of all of those baits. And uh, yeah, you have also to uh, pack everything that uh, comes at range. I mean, uh, at a certain uh, growth, the gameplay is so easy for Pteranodon uh, players that you have to search for something to do. Look. I could pack a this, uh, is this a uh, Uteraptor? No, that's a Carnotaurus. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm going to end up my streaming here. If I don't get launched, I will try to... Okay. I guess uh, I died because I got attacked. Uh, Pteranodon doesn't have that much life. It's a very chilling gameplay, but uh, not much stats. Although 50 Newtons damage is quite a lot if you manage to pack the head of these carnos. Well, thank you so much for watching. I wish you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye bye.